Hi, folks. Strick Waddell here. I'm the Chief Investment Officer at RFG Advisory in Birmingham, and we thought we'd come to you with a brief market update, kind of let you know what's going on, uh, which is not really that much. Uh, for the past two weeks, we've been kind of bouncing around between 4150 and 4200 on the S&P 500. Um, as I speak, we're right at around 4170. Uh, we're in the middle of earnings season, which typically moves markets, but we're actually towards the tail end of it. We've seen about 400 companies within the S&P 500 report. Um, and the earnings have been very, very, very strong. And it seems like the market, at least for the past couple of weeks, has been sort of digesting that news as analysts kind of grind uh, some of their estimates higher. Um, for those of you keeping score at home, uh, so far, uh, with 400 companies reporting, we've seen about 48% growth on average in earnings year over year, uh, which is insane. Uh, I mean, that number is obviously helped by what happened in the pan pandemic last year and the sort of reopening and reflation in this year. Um, but it's a lot higher than anybody expected. Uh, so, you know, rough numbers, uh, analyst expectations for the quarter were about 24%. 48% um, is obviously double that uh, and just a, a ridiculously um, aggressive number. And so I think we're going to spend a little bit of time over the next couple of weeks as everybody sort of recalibrates to, okay, we've seen massive earnings growth in Q1. What does that mean for Q2 and Q3, um, you know, as we, as we look out over the, over the future um, and we start to reset what our expectations are for the rest of the year. Um, and a little bit of daily headline news, there's a little bit of a debate around whether or not the intellectual property protections uh, concerning vaccines should be waived, i.e., um, should we be punishing, should we, should we be allowing patent protection for the work that was done on the vaccines for COVID, or should we waive those protections for a period of time so that we can maximize production? Um, there's humanitarian concerns on one side of that. Um, obviously, we want the most vaccines out there as possible. Um, there are also profit concerns on the other side of it. And, and also, um, I think, um, some precedent concerns on the other side of it in terms of, you know, well, what incentive is there to develop a drug if you can't earn profits from it on the other side? So um, a debate going on in Washington, a debate going on around the world. Uh, when it looks like we're going to relax those restrictions, the healthcare sector trades down quite a bit. Uh, when it looks like those restrictions are going to stay in place, it bounces back up. Um, with that, um, I actually learned this week that my mom is a big fan of the podcast, which uh, changes things a little bit. Uh, I was unaware that mom was watching. Um, so for those of you who are, who are Carol Burnett fans, uh, which uh, my mom is one, um, you'll know what this means. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I look forward to coming to you again. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks. Are you enjoying this content? Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us at RFG Advisory on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Thanks.